Hi everyone and welcome to another Better Mankind video. My name is Louis and today we're going to be talking about why alternative therapies or complementary medicine doesn't work for everyone. Well I could easily just say well why doesn't chemo work for everyone but in regards to alternative therapies there are factors and reasons of why it might not be working for you. I've had many people in the past come up to me and say, well, Louis, you know, we had a family friend or, a, or even a family member that, you know, had a debilitating disease and they tried alternative therapies, but it did nothing for them. Well, let, let's, uh, you know, have a closer look at this. Do we dismiss the validity of alternative therapies just because it didn't work for somebody? Um, I often think of the phrase mind, body and spirit whenever someone comes up and tells me something like this. And the reason for this is that one without the other two, if you're trying to heal yourself, will not work. If any of those is missing, the mind, the body or the spirit, they're not in conjunction together while you're trying to heal, it won't work. And what do I mean by this? Well, let's say, for example, you're giving your body all of the nutrients that it needs. Let's say you're, you're you know, totally alkalizing. You, you've cleaned out your body out of all, from, from all, you know, uh, bad pollutants, preservatives. You, you cut down, you cut out sugar, you cut out dairy, you've cut out everything. And, you know, you're no longer smoking, drinking. You're living a clean lifestyle. But you're still not feeling any better. Now, why is this? Well, let's now look at the mind and, and the spirit or soul. What kind of environment are you living in? Is your daily life stressful? Do you live in a toxic relationship? Do you have a toxic environment overall? I mean, maybe you have a, a family that's very negative, that is uh, constantly arguing around you. Um, maybe your partner is abusive. And here you are trying to heal from a, a disease that can kill you. You know, when someone, when someone is told by their doctor that they have cancer or that they have, you know, leukemia or something that most people fear, what, what do you think happens to your state of mind in that moment? Even to your body. It fills with acidity. Any negative thought, and especially fear, Fear is one of the most debilitating uh, negative thoughts that anyone could have. It could literally paralyze you and, uh, and kill you. So when you do get told something like this, what, what should you do? Well, number one, you need to surround yourself with supportive people, not people that are going to be fearing with you. People that are going to try to uplift you and tell you that there is a solution. To every problem, there's a solution. You know, someone once uh, gave me a Rubik's Cube and it, it took me two months, but I figured it out. And now I can solve one in a minute and a half because I don't believe there is such a thing as no solution to any problem. So you need to be in, in the right state of mind if you're going to try to heal yourself. You can't be in a toxic environment. You can't hold on to negative thoughts of any sort. Me being from a European background, and I've seen this time and time again, not so much with my own immediate family, but with other family, uh, distant family and, and family friends, they tend to hold on to, to grudges and resentment for years and years. You know, they, they might have had, uh, you know, words with someone in the, in the family and had an argument, and they hold a grudge for years. They won't talk to each other. I see this uh, a lot in the world and if you're trying to heal yourself and you don't let go of these things, you are not going to heal. You, you might as well, you know, take the other alternative and, and, and do the chemotherapy or, or take, uh, you know, pharmaceutical drugs because it is pointless to try and heal your body from something as serious as cancer or any other serious disease if you're not going to let go of everything. The other thing I suggest is that if you're trying to heal, you have to uh, nourish the, the spirit and the soul. You need to sit there and meditate. 
If meditation is hard for you, start off with five minutes. Just sit there in silence with no interruptions, with no, uh, with no one around you to give you any you know, negative thoughts or, or make you fear things. Lock yourself up in a room and just sit there in silence. Start off with five minutes and go to 10 and then go to 20 and 30 and before you know it, you're going to be meditating for hours on end. And this will help you in your healing process. So your thought patterns decide whether you are going to get better or not. One of the other reasons why alternative therapies don't work for a lot of people is that people today, they want a quick fix. They want it to work now. They want to take a couple of herbal tablets and, uh, you know, magic. A couple of days later, they're feeling great. It doesn't work like that with alternative treatments. It's a, it's a process. I mean, th does an athlete train for a couple of days and then end up in the Olympics? No, they don't. They have to train day in, day out for years and years to get to that level. It's the same thing with your health. It's an ongoing process. You can't take a pill and that's it. Everything's just going to be fine. I liken the body very much to a rubbish bin. You put rubbish in, in the bin and then flies and maggots come. You take the rubbish out. There is no flies and maggots. They've got nothing to feed on. There's no rubbish in there. What makes you think your body's any different? But you can't just nourish this. You need to nourish that as well. And I often suggest if you're trying to heal from a really you know, serious disease, sit in front of the TV and watch your favorite sitcom shows. You know, Watch things that are funny, funny movies. Surround yourself with laughter. Surround yourself with, with fun activities. Don't sit there dwelling on, you know, all the negatives because it, it, it doesn't do anything for you. It doesn't help you. Let me finish off by telling you a, a story. And this is a true story because when I was 12, my mother was diagnosed with cancer. She had cancer of the uterus and the doctors at the time told her that she had three months to live. Now, I still remember, even though I was only 12 years old, what it was like to find out that your mother could die in three months. As a child, you, you know, you don't really know how to deal with this sort of stuff. But my parents, uh, both my mother and my dad, they're very strong individuals. And they didn't see that as the, the end all, you know, that they didn't see that as um, there's no hope. The, a family member at the time uh, suggested that my parents go see an old Bulgarian herbalist who didn't live too far from us. And my parents had nothing to lose. They, they went and saw him and he had a very um, big reputation of curing a lot of people. We're talking in the hundreds of, of all sorts of uh, cancers and, you know, degenerative diseases. And when they went to see him, he pretty much uh, prescribed that she go on a 100% alkaline diet. And this meant uh, juicing only vegetables, eliminating uh, sugars, eliminating dairy, eliminating um, meat. Um, so it was predominantly a, a vegetable-based diet. So like, like raw vegan, but without the sugar. And he also put her on certain herbal teas um, to, you know, get her to feel better. But one of the main things that he said to her, and uh, he really you know, hammer this home. He said, if you live in a negative, in a, in a toxic in environment, in an argumentative uh, household, this is not going to work. Your whole family needs to be supportive. They need to be uplifting. Uh, you can't have any negative thoughts. Otherwise, don't bother trying this at all. Well, anyway, that's what we did. Uh, no one that came to our house was allowed to be negative. Uh, if relatives came over, it, it, was, it was almost like they had to pretend like my mum ha had nothing. There was no cancer. And, uh, you know, we, I remember that, that time the, the, the house was filled with, with laughter and, and a lot of positive thoughts, a lot of positive energy. And in, to a certain point, even we forgot that my mother you know, had, had any sort of uh, disease. Anyway, 11 months later, she went back to see the doctor and uh, the doctor was stunned. He was, he was absolutely blown away that she's still alive. He, he looked at her file and said, according to this, you shouldn't be, even be with us. 
They did the tests and when the test came back, my mother was 100% cancer free. To this day, my mother is with us. To this day, my family sticks to an alkaline based diet and alkaline lifestyle. You know, we, uh, we don't get sick. We don't go see doctors every two seconds because we don't need to. We, we feel healthy, energetic, motivated. There's no such thing as depression or, you know, feeling lows and then highs and then lows. No, it's, it's, it's just a constant feeling of joyfulness and, 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 you know, constant feeling of you're always motivated. You always want to do something. That's the alkalinity. There's no other way, you know, to see it. So before you go posting comments on uh, any of my videos that are of a negative nature, I dare you to go out and, and try this for yourself. Go on an alkaline diet just for two months. Eliminate dairy, eliminate sugar from your diet. Um, eliminate, you know, things like uh, smoking and drinking and, you know, drugs and whatever else that you're doing that is polluting your body. Surround yourself with, with positive people. If someone in your life is negative, get rid of them. If they're a family member, keep away from them because they're only going to make you sick. They're not going to make you feel any better. So that's uh, my opinion on why some alternative therapies don't work. I hope uh, you've enjoyed this video. And if so, please subscribe and we'll see you guys soon. Thank you very much for watching. Bye now.